Okay, we're recording. Hi guys, it's me, Julia. Nice to see you, although I'm not really seeing you. Nice to be seen by you, I guess. Uh, it's been quite some time since I made a video, so I really wanted to get on here. If any of you uh, follow me on Facebook or friends with me on Facebook, you would have seen that for Christmas, my husband surprised me with a brand new camera and new lights. So I'm learning how to do this as I kind of go along and we don't have the light situation figured out exactly right. The lights are not quite, see, you can see shadows and stuff like that. So I'm waiting to get a ring light or something that could kind of assimilate a ring light. But in the meantime, I just, I had to get on and make a video because it's been a while since I've done it. I've forgotten how to speak in front of a camera. So I'm very, very excited. So I thought just as a little test video to see how the new camera works and the lighting and everything, I'm just gonna do a little short video and the video I'm gonna film is a mini haul. L'Oreal products. So these are three things I picked up because I went into Walmart and there they were, brand new display, and already kind of picked over. And they're things that I've been waiting forever to come from. Okay, home. first up, now this says new and it's new to me, but I don't know how new it is exactly, but it's the Brow Stylus Definer. So it's just one of those fine tip um, eyebrow pencils. And I was actually really impressed with it. So it's like $10, I think, between seven and $10. It's a double-ended product. So it's got the really, really fine tip pencil at one end. And the shade I have is brunette. And it's actually a nice brunette shade. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this. I'm gonna have to try to do close-ups. But it's a nice um, brunette shade and it's like an ashy shade. It's a cool tone shade without being too gray, if that makes sense. But what I like about it is there's no red in it. Now it doesn't have like a slanted tip or the triangular tip that's really popular right now, which is a really, really fine tip pencil. And then at the other end, it's got like a, um, a spoolie. And I really like the spoolie as opposed to a brush. I just find that it grips the hair better um, and, and helps with brushing your brows. Really impressed with that. It doesn't say that it's waterproof though, but uh, yeah, I'll, I'll report back in on how it goes. Like I've only used it once. Then the other thing I was really excited about is they finally brought the Color Riche eyeshadow singles to Canada. Now they had had them, I think they launched in Britain first. I hope you can't hear my child in the next room. He's having a Google hangout with his friend and oh my gosh, they're so loud. Sorry. If you can't hear if you can hear them, but hopefully not because I've got the microphone on. Anyway, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so these are just little single eyeshadows, but they're formulated differently than the shadows that you would find in a L'Oreal Quad or a L'Oreal Palette. They're just super soft. They're very, very creamy and super shiny and pigmented. I can't focus in that close, but um, so this shade is What's this one? Number 207, Pano Chocolat, or Chocolate Bread. And it's really nice. It's very, very light. What I love about it is it's nice and sh like shimmery, sheeny without glitter, if that makes sense. So it's just got a really nice high shine to it, a high polish to it. And I'm not sure, but I think you can use these wet as well, which would make them look really foiled. So as I said, the display was kind of picked over. So the pickings were slim, but I kind of went for that, you know, obvious shade that we all buy, the kind of taupey neutral shade. And I was really, thought it was really nice. So again, I'll report back in on how I like it as time goes on. Now, the thing that I was most excited to try is this, which is the L'Oreal, um, the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Cushion Compact very excited. So basically, if you don't know what a cushion compact is, it originated in Korea and it's just a really ingenious kind of way of presenting products. So inside a little compact, you have a cushion that is soaked with the product. That's what this is right here. And it's a very sheer version of of the product, like very liquidy, but it's soaked into the sponge. So you really only get what you need and you don't get like a big messy blob of liquid um, foundation on your hand, which is really nice or, you know, spilling out all over the place. As I said, a very, very sheer uh, version of 
the True Match Lumi foundation. And it's actually more luminous than the Lumi, like just the regular Lumi, but I love how sheer it is and I love how light it is. Okay, I'm kind of getting ahead of myself. Let me back up. So it's the L'Oreal True Match Lumi cushion foundation. So it's, if you like the Lumi foundation, you'll like this, except this is even more sheer than the Lumi foundation, which is why I like it. It's $19 at Walmart in Canada for 0.51 ounces. So only 14 grams, not a lot of product. So quite pricey when you consider how much you're getting for what you pay for at the drugstore. But if you know, it's a good product, then I think it's worth the money. Okay. And I got the shade N2, which is um, the little tab on it said it was classic ivory, $19 as I said. You open it up and there's a nice little mirror inside there and then you get this little sponge and you actually use the sponge. Now you can see that's from one application because I just tried this once the day after I bought it. Underneath the place where the sponge goes is where your product is. So you just press this into the product and then either pat it or rub it in, but I think patting works best. And I actually tried three methods to apply. So I started with the sponge and it gave just a really nice, I think this is probably going to be my favorite way of applying it because it just applied it perfectly. You can also, you know, use your fingers and I massaged it in a little bit. And then I also took a dry beauty blender and used that and it worked really well because the the product itself is so liquidy, like just sheer. And it's really cool to the touch when you put it on your face, really nice. I really liked the application. I loved the finish. More sheer than, as I said, than the original True Match Lumi, um, but just so nice. I really liked it. I loved the way that it was sitting on my skin and it didn't oxidize and it just kind of looked nice throughout the day. So I've only used it once, but my first impressions are really, really favorable and I'm so excited to see this. So if you don't want a lot of coverage, um, but you're looking just for a nice glow to your skin, especially if you've got dry or dehydrated skin, I would try this. So very excited to see those products coming out from L'Oreal. We have to wait a long time here in Canada and sometimes we don't get them at all. So I'm very excited to see those. I guess L'Oreal's really pushing the cushion. <laughs> And that's pretty much all she wrote. I just had a coughing fit, so I'm gonna go. Thanks so much for watching, guys. We'll see you soon.